Hello viewers and welcome back to our channel. Today we're diving into a crucial aspect of SEO, Core Web Vitals. As we navigate the digital landscape, it's clear that user experience is no longer just a buzzword. It's a pivotal factor that drives website performance and ranking. And that's where Core Web Vitals come into play. Core Web Vitals are a set of performance metrics that Google uses to assess the quality of a user's experience on a web page. They're a part of Google's page experience signal, which means they directly influence your site's search engine rankings. So, if you're serious about SEO, you can't afford to overlook these vitals. The Core Web Vitals consist of three main components. Largest Contentful Paint or LCP, First Input Delay or FID, and Cumulative Layout Shift or CLS. Each of these components evaluates a different aspect of user experience. LCP measures the loading speed of your web page. It tells you how long it takes for the largest piece of content on your page to load, be it an image, a video, or a block of text. FID, on the other hand, measures interactivity. It gauges how long it takes for your site to respond when a user first interacts with it, like clicking a button or a link. Finally, CLS assesses visual stability. It determines whether elements on your page shift unexpectedly as the page loads, which can be quite annoying for users. In the world of SEO, understanding these core web vitals and optimizing your website accordingly is key to staying ahead of the competition. It's about delivering a pleasant, seamless, and fast experience to your users, thereby making Google happy and boosting your search engine rankings. Now you may be wondering, how do I optimize my website for these core web vitals? Well, that's what we're here for. In the upcoming sections, we'll delve deeper into each of these components and share some effective strategies to optimize them. Let's break down each of these elements to understand their impact on SEO. LCP measures the loading performance of a web page. It's one of the three pillars of Google's core web vitals, and it plays a pivotal role in how a site is perceived by both users and search engines. The L in LCP stands for largest, and it refers to the largest image or text block visible within the viewport. The CP stands for contentful paint, which relates to when this content is painted onto the screen. Why is LCP so important, you may ask? Well, it's because it provides a clear indication of how quickly a user is able to see and interact with the main content of a page. A fast LCP reassures the user that the page is useful. On the other hand, a slow LCP could lead to a user perception of a slow site, and they might just bounce off before the page fully loads. This is why Google recommends that LCP should occur within the first two and a half seconds of the page starting to load. Now, how can we improve LCP, you might wonder? Well, there are several ways to do this. First, you could optimize your server. Server response times can significantly impact LCP, so it's important to ensure your server is running efficiently. This could involve upgrading your server, using a content delivery network, or implementing resource caching. Next, consider utilizing browser caching. This can help load content faster by storing a copy of your website's resources in the user's browser. This way, returning users can experience faster load times since their browser doesn't have to reload everything from scratch. Lastly, make sure your images and other resources are properly sized and compressed. Large, uncompressed images can take a long time to load and can significantly impact LCP. By properly sizing and compressing your images, you can ensure they load faster and improve your site's overall performance. In summary, LCP is a crucial metric in understanding and improving the user's perception of your site's load performance. By optimizing your server, utilizing browser caching, and ensuring that your images and other resources are properly sized and compressed, you can significantly improve your site's LCP and overall user experience. IFID gauges the interactivity of a web page. This is a pretty significant metric because it's all about how your users engage with your site. It's not just about how quickly your page loads, but how quickly it becomes interactive and responsive to user inputs. Imagine clicking on a button or a link on a web page and nothing happens, or it takes a while for the page to respond. That's frustrating, isn't it? That's exactly what first input delay measures. So, how does FID work? It measures the time from when a user first interacts with your site, like when they click on a link, to the time when the browser is actually able to start processing those event handlers in response to the user's interaction. We're talking about those first impressions that your site leaves on its visitors. Now, let's talk numbers. The ideal FID time is less than 100 milliseconds. That's right, milliseconds. Any longer and your users might start to notice and not in a good way. But how can we improve FID on our sites? 
one of the most effective ways is to minimize or even better eliminate unnecessary JavaScript execution. JavaScript can block the main thread, preventing the user's inputs from being processed. So, the less JavaScript that needs to be executed, the lower your FID will be. Another method you can use to improve your FID score is by optimizing your site's code. This can be done by breaking up long tasks into smaller, less blocking ones, and by using a web worker to run JavaScript on a background thread. Finally, make use of browser prefetching. This is a technique that allows the browser to predict what page a user will likely visit next and load it in the background. This can significantly speed up the load time of that page, improving interactivity and responsiveness. So, to wrap up our discussion on first input delay, it's all about interactivity. It's about how quickly your web page responds to your user's first interaction. Minimize unnecessary JavaScript execution, optimize your code, and use browser prefetching to enhance interactivity and responsiveness. CLS measures the visual stability of a page. Have you ever been reading an article online and just as you're about to click a link or button, it moves? That's what we call a layout shift, and it's as frustrating as it sounds. The more these shifts happen, the higher the cumulative layout shift, or CLS score, and the worse the user experience. Now why does CLS matter? Google uses it as a ranking factor. In other words, if your website's CLS score is high, it could negatively impact your SEO rankings. So it's not just about providing a smooth user experience, it's also about ensuring your website's visibility in search engine results. So how can we minimize CLS? The first step is to identify what's causing the shifts. Tools like Google's PageSpeed Insights and Search Console can provide a detailed report of the layout shifts on your page. One common culprit is images without dimensions. When a browser doesn't know the size of an image ahead of time, it can cause the layout to shift as it loads. By specifying the width and height of images, you can prevent this. Next, let's talk about ads, embeds, and iframes. These can cause layout shifts as they load and resize. To minimize this, reserve space for them on the page. That way the browser knows exactly where they'll go, and it won't have to rearrange things as they load. Another tip is to avoid inserting content above existing content unless in response to a user interaction. This can cause everything below to shift down, leading to a higher CLS score. Lastly, consider using CSS aspect ratio boxes for videos and other dynamic content. This helps maintain the aspect ratio as the viewport resizes, preventing unexpected layout shifts. Remember, the goal is to make your website as user-friendly as possible. Prioritize smooth loading to provide a seamless user experience. By doing so, you'll not only improve your website's SEO rankings, but also keep your visitors happy. And a happy visitor is more likely to become a loyal customer. Now that we understand the core web vitals, it's time to discuss effective strategies for optimization. To elevate your website's performance, there are two key strategies you should prioritize. Optimizing the critical rendering path and implementing lazy loading for images. The critical rendering path is the sequence of steps the browser goes through to convert your code into actual pixels on the screen. Prioritizing this path means focusing on the operations that have a direct impact on speed. Optimize your CSS, defer non-essential JavaScript, and eliminate any render blocking resources. This streamlines the rendering path, reducing the time it takes for your website to become interactive. Next, let's talk about lazy loading. This technique delays the loading of non-essential images and other content until they're about to enter the viewport. This means the user's device isn't wasting resources trying to load content that isn't immediately visible. Implementing lazy loading can significantly reduce initial load time, improving both LCP and FID scores. Remember, the goal of Core Web Vitals optimization isn't just to please search engines. These efforts are ultimately aimed at providing a smoother, more enjoyable experience for your users. By prioritizing the critical rendering path and implementing lazy loading, you're not only improving your website's performance metrics, but you're also enhancing the overall user experience. This reduces initial page load time, contributing to a positive user experience without sacrificing content quality. In conclusion, mastering core web vitals is indispensable for SEO success in the ever-evolving digital landscape. By sharpening your focus on largest contentful paint, first input delay, and cumulative layout shift, and applying the optimization strategies we've discussed, you're setting your website up for higher search engine rankings and a superior user experience. Remember, 
It's all about providing a seamless, enjoyable browsing journey. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more valuable insights into digital marketing and SEO. Thank you for watching.